Well, it's terrible what some people do to animals. I mean, we're just here to help repair the damage, um, do what we can to make them better. Right, here we go. What have we got? Pheasant, gunshot wound to the chest. Oh, not again. Right, let's get him through. <laughs> yes, the first thing we do is remove some of the feathers to make it easier to get to the wound. Then we use various salves and unguents to start the healing process. Terry, I'll talk you through it. Uh, yes, I'm using a salve made of uh, olive oil, a uh, bit of rosemary, some salt and pepper. Uh, it sounds odd, but uh, it really is the best chance these pheasants have got. And are you going to bandage the wound? I've done it already, actually. I, I use bacon. Um, again, it like, sounds odd, but medically it, it really does the trick. Well, hang in there, little chap. <laughs> Other methods we use involve uh, suppositories. Um, we try to use the most natural ingredient uh, medicines uh, that we can. Um, so a typical suppository may contain uh, sage, um, perhaps chestnuts, maybe some some mushrooms. It can work wonders. Damn! We've lost him. No pulse, no respiration. Oh, but humanity. Don't worry, Terry. You, you did your best. I can't stand losing them. I'll see him the rest of the way. This is the crematorium. These ovens are very much like the ones you'd find in the kitchen, but much much hotter. We try to give them some dignity in death, put some special tokens of their life in with them. So, for example, with this pheasant, we've got some carrots and potatoes and a few shallots. So, 15 minutes a pound, that should be red cremated in about an hour and a quarter. This is uh, Clive. Hello. Why don't you tell them what you do here, Clive? I'm the head chef. Surgeon? Yes, surgeon, head surgeon. And uh, tell them what happened the other day. Oh, right, yeah. Uh, well, it's not just birds we treat here. Uh, for example, on Monday we had this lamb brought in. It was, uh, it was very sad. We had to amputate his leg. And then he got an infection. Uh, so we had to take off the other leg, then both shoulders. And in the end, chasing the infection, we ended up having to amputate most of him one chop at a time. <laughs> it's a medical term, by the way. Chop. I take it he didn't pull through? He certainly didn't. Tragic. <laughs> so, uh, he should be reduced to no more than a handful of dust now. Oh, no. Oh, that... That isn't supposed to happen. That... I'm gonna have to call the engineer and tell him that the oven just isn't hot enough to burn things. This just looks... cooked. More than anything, it's terrible, really terrible. <laughs>